This is the Meerkat in with the trade of the day, and it was on Pfizer today. This is kind of a slow cooking trade, or we like to call a crockpot trade. All right, here was Pfizer. It hit opening, and it had uh, it was running up nice and steady. Then someone in our room called it out. It was not on our original list to watch, and then uh, right now is not a time to get in. But then it started doing a bull pullback. If you want to know more about a bull pullback, you can go to our site, freeonlinetradingeducation.com, at why, while you're there, there's, we have three different webinars that you can sign up for. Uh, one on how to build wealth as a trader, uh, how to find the best trades, and how to win at day trading. Uh, you can just click on those, find out more information, and sign up for your free webinar on how to trade better. All right, uh, let's go to the free chart school up here, and we're going to look at a bull pullback. So we go under uh, chart patterns to on the bully side here, and bull pullback, also known as a pullback buy. And here's a written description of it here, uh, and uh, a picture of it where it's pulling back to a line of support and starting to roll back up again. If it, uh, it continues to roll up, then the odds are in our favor. It's going to continue up, and we'll go ahead and enter that trade to the long side because the odds are in our favor. Uh, here are some real life examples down here. In fact, I just loaded up a new one here on Alibaba from just two days ago where it did pull back and then take took off like a rocket. So uh, uh, these are the different patterns that we're looking for and let's take a look at it on Pfizer and here it was pulling back so I went ahead and I set a trade here that if it broke out this way with some increased volume I'd want to be long and what happened? Boom, and now I am long at uh, $38.14. Okay, let's go ahead and here we're going to set our stop down here, uh, less than 1% down here, if, uh, uh, so that it's, uh, you know, we've got to protect our position. So let's see what happened after that. Um, and it just kind of hummed along, kind of hummed along. And now that 20 moving average is caught up to it. When it consolidates for a long time, this moving average is come together. So I'm going to go ahead and put, be just under this 38 even dollar amount here. That would only lose about, you know, less than half a percent uh, on that if I were to just drop all of a sudden and let's go on moving on uh -huh, still going on still going on okay well you know I'm getting real tired of this here um, uh, but it's I'm doing other trades and everything else here and it's just a slow cooking slow cooker slow cooker here Alrighty, well, I'm, you, I'm going to bring my stop up. Now the 50 moving average here is catching up to the other ones. Uh, and again, uh, it, it's just going back and forth from where it broke out for me. And it, it should be an in the money or out of the money. So I'm bringing it up here to, I don't know, uh, 3806. Uh, and just, you know, now I only have about 7 cents at risk and a 35 or $38 entry here. And then finally, finally, it broke out. So I was in this position from... 10.05 market time to 10.45. So for 40 minutes, it just sat there and it was a slow cooker. Then finally took off and look at the volume taking off as well. And so, oh, here it goes, here it goes, all the way up here. So now I'm going to bring my stop in the money here. I'm up to this 20 moving average. And so I'm just barely in the money, but hey, it beats a kick in the ass. That's, doesn't it? And bam. Oh my. So I was following this 20 moving average up here. And then it just slammed right down below the 20 moving average and stopped me out at 38.29 for 0.4% on this trade. And I was in it for, uh, what, 45 minutes. Oh, well, uh, sometimes they really break out and sometimes they don't. But whenever the odds are in my favor, I want to take that trade. This is Mark the Meerkat. Hey, just remember that sometimes it's better to be wishing you were in a trade and not being in it than being in a trade wishing you were out. Trade well.